are quite a few great spots across the region where you can pack up for the weekend and just have a great camping experience. This morning, Ansley Watson is at one of them, Van Riper State Park. Ansley, you got a little something on your shoulder there. Yes, my little friend, this little skunk here. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I yes. guess you'll see these little critters around here at Van Riper State Park. Yeah, he's cute. So this morning, there's just something so refreshing about being outdoors and camping. So June is the kickoff for National Camping Month. So we're going to talk about what uh, Van Riper State Park offers here. they got modern camping. They've got rustic camping and so many summer events that you can get involved in as well. I'm standing in one of their cabins here. It's a cute little thing that we've got bunk beds, a little ta a table you can play cards at. So we got a lot to talk about this morning. Reporting live and champion Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Nice to see you went rustic and uh, hardcore there, Ansley. <laughs> we'll get caught up with you a little bit later on. Uh, you know, it is kind of nice. More and more of the uh, camping places around the region have either cabins or yurts, things like that, for people who don't really like tents that Yeah, a little That's something a great for idea. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie's on the board. <laughs> yeah. Emily was telling me that we need to go camping, and that's my kind of camping right, right like there. Maybe a hot tub. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It needs a bathroom and a shower right there. Well, what I really yeah, appreciate is, is some of the campers that they have nowadays are actually better than my house. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right? some of them are really nice. So. Yeah, like rough luxury. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, for those, it's June 1st, and that means it's the first day of National Camp. Camping Month. What better way to celebrate than heading out to a state park to talk about camping? This morning, Ansley Watson is at Van Riper with more. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Van Riper State Park open for the season. They just had the Memorial Day weekend, and apparently there was a lot of campers here, which I don't doubt at all. Joining me this morning is Melanie Brand and Emily Wright. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. So how was Memorial Day weekend for you guys? Very busy. Our modern campground was full and we only had about 19 sites left in our rustic and all of our overnight lodging was booked. So good weekend yes. for it, wasn't Great it? weekend, yes. So kind of talking about the rustic versus modern camping, what does that explain those? Uh, for our modern campground, we have electricity available and then our modern bathhouse is here with the shower building and rustic kind of sits off all by itself. There's 40 sites over there and it's just completely rustic, no electricity. So We're in a cute little cabin here. Yeah. It's so just like comfortable and you have a little heater in here. What's this all about? Uh, our mini cabin, we have two mini cabins and they sleep four. Um, they book up pretty fast during the year. Okay. People like them because they're right here in the modern campground. And then we also have our uh, rustic cabin across the road over on the Pashiki River. And then we have our Cully Gage camper cabin. And that one's a little bit bigger, has a couple of bedrooms. So that one's electricity as well. Now, Emily, you are the explorer guide here. What all do you get to do? You have a fun job. Yeah, this year I'm going to be doing all the programs for Van Riper. Um, we have different programs throughout the week as well as the weekend. I'm going to be doing hikes and crafts and hopefully some um, recreational basics activities for kids, so like learning how to fish or build fires, um, things like that, all kinds of fun things for the family. There's a lot of fun things to look forward to in the summertime here. What are some of the events coming up? I'm um, sure we have National Trails Day coming up on Saturday. Emily's going to put a great hike on at 3 o'clock, so bring your bug spray. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yes. <though. laughs> and then we also have on June 18th our Paws in the Park event, and then we have um, lots of different events coming up throughout the summer, so we always expect you to check back and enjoy it. Um, whether you're camping or just coming out for the day, mm -hmm. there's a lot going on. Now, to come out here any time of the day, even or to spend a weekend, you need a recreation passport. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. So, recreation passport. It's eleven dollars annually if you uh, have a Michigan license plate, and then if a non-resident, nine dollars for a day or thirty-one for an annual. Okay. okay. Now it's sprinkling a little bit right now, but I think we're going to try to build a fire. We're is gonna, that right? We're going to try. <laughs> going to go. We're going to go have a great day in here at the Van Riper State Park. So stay with us. Reporting live in Champion, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. Have fun with that as we get ready for the day. I think that if she does get that going, she's probably going to be regretting not bringing those marshmallows with her. That's <laughs> right. Bringing them back to us. Yes. Right. <laughs> Welcome we'll back. Well, we fought. So we we start the first day of June by talking about National Camping Month. Ansley Watson joins us at Van Riper State Park to talk to us a little bit more about what to look forward to. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Sam. Wow, you got the giggles this morning. I, as you can see, we are enjoying ourselves, and we're sitting here at Van Riper State Park roasting some marshmallows. How's it going, ladies? Great. Good. So joining me this morning is Melanie, Emily, and oh, look here, our camp host, Carl, with his coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Carl, what is the responsibilities of a camp host? 
Well, I don't think we have enough time to explain it all here. <laughs> we answer questions, take care of anybody's uh, problems that, that we can, and, and we have all kinds of uh, games and things for the kids to give out, the ladder uh, golf game and beanbag and basketballs, and kind of talk to people mm -hmm. is probably the main thing. Coffee and donuts every Saturday morning. Wow, well, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Right. <laughs> now, Emily, you are the Explorer Guide, and you host a lot of different events. Wow, it's kind of sprinkling right now. You host a lot of different events throughout the summer. What are some of the things that are coming up that people can come out and do? Um, we got a lot of different things. Um, we got hikes going on, especially one this weekend for National Trails Day at 3 o'clock. Um, we'll be doing a hike for that. Um, coming up, I've just, I'm still in the planning program uh, stage for most of it. Um, I'm hoping to do some recreational uh, like 101 programs. So starting mm -hmm. fires like this, so if you don't know how to start a fire, um, watch for the schedule and come out for that if you want to learn how to make a fire. So. How do you make the perfect fire? You're kind of talking us through it this morning. <laughs> Well, you're gonna, you need a, different components to kind of start the fire up. You need little pieces of paper or shaved wood to kind of start the fire. Mm -hmm. um, you need smaller pieces of wood called kindling, and then you need bigger pieces of wood, and then the fire just kind of builds by burning each of those different elements. So. Well, we've got a good one here. Melanie, you're roasting your marshmallows, but you're also telling me that a new playground is coming in. There is. Um, the Friends of Van Riper in Craig Lake State Park, um, they were able to secure funding um, from local businesses grant wise um, to put a playground in down by um, our beach area mm -hmm. so and groundbreaking on that is pretty much so today they've started a little bit of the work already and then they're anticipating to have it done um, mid-July so that's a good addition to the park. Other than camping what can people come here and do at Van Riper? Sure, there's, um, we have trails across the street. Um, Van Riper encompasses 1,044 acres, so a lot of it's across the street where there's hiking trails. Um, there's also kayaks available to mm -hmm. rent by the day we have at our contact station. We have uh, half a mile of sandy beach on Lake Michigami. Can't beat that on a summer day, so there's lots going on, and Emily's Explorer Guide programs are great, as well as all of our events that we have going on in the summer, which you can find on the website, just michigan.gov slash Van Riper, or on our Facebook page. Now, you guys all work here, but you're saying that every state park has a unique aspect to it, and just camping in general. Why do you guys love working here and just doing the whole camping scene? Well, the warm fire and being outside that's number one for everybody is being able to get outside um yeah not every day it's going to be sunny and beautiful some mm -hmm. days you get rain but that's okay because we enjoy it you know you take the good with the bad and it's just a good time emily you've been uh, you've been working here for like four years mm -hmm. what brings you coming back yeah this is my fourth summer i really enjoy the community i think our campground a really big thing is we have lots of local families that camp here so i like the um just the sense of community that this campground has um, and that's something that I really enjoy coming back to. And Carl, you've been a host for eight to ten years. You must enjoy it as well. It's it's meeting the people. Eh? There's people from actually all over the world that stop in off and on, and mostly the U.S. of course, and, and lots of locals that we know, and we know each other, so we spend weekends together. You know, like, mm -hmm. And the coffee and donut thing I have to plug is uh, uh, Super One uh, from Nagani and the IGA in Ishpeming alternate every other week all oh. summer donating the donuts to us so thank you to them great well thank you guys and i think we're going to enjoy the rest of our marshmallows here That's early so. morning breakfast <laughs> so thank, thank you. you all for being with me this morning reporting live in champion ansley watson and we'll be back with more of your tv6 morning news after the break